Hey guys, welcome back to another new Planty video. Today I'm going to show you guys some Planty. Ooh, jump scare. Some Planty updates on the apartment. I know I haven't been posting. Honestly, I'm just letting it be the way it's going to be. That made no sense. But I'm going to be posting whenever I have something to post. I'm still trying to figure out a schedule. I mean, the day is getting closer. I'm going to be working for Amazon. Um, I was looking back in the videos and I was like, I was praising it so much. I know I'm going to hate it. But I'm gonna have peace of mind um, on income, and that's gonna help me a little bit. So sleep at night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today there's a lot of stuff happening, and the apartments, lots of new growth. I mean, every place that I stare at, there's something new popping up. And one of the biggest things that I'm really, really excited about is the my Berge de Mostera Peru. It is putting out a new leaf, and it seems like it's not killing the other leaves. So I think the fact that it's outside and the warmth and the consistent watering and a little bit of fertilizer has helped it a little bit but i'll get more into that when i show you so yes it's been a hot minute since i've seen you guys i miss y'all so god that much um i still see y'all's comments and everything but i want to show you guys the apartment and yeah i just want to show you guys what's going on because there's a lot going on <laughs> let's go that was so weird i was struggling to like turn on the camera it was like pitch black for like a minute no matter what i did closing it or opening it was just black so Alrighty, so again, I, again, I don't know where to go. I guess we can start over here. So right over here, we have this tie, which I'm really, really grateful for that everything propagated amazingly. I mean, it just put out this new leaf and the mother plant is still in the greenhouse. I'm letting it establish um, because like I put it on the ground and then I put it back in the pot. So uh, yes, I'm letting it establish for right now. But this is the cutting that we did. As you can see, when um, I was chopping it, it had four leaves and um the way that i did it i just they had these air roots which is always developing these insane air roots it has a very invasive root system like it's crazy it's like a spider plant almost and whenever i saw an air root like on the in a node basically i put a pot next to it and i just let the root do its thing and as soon as i felt like after two or three months i felt like there was enough roots and the and the thing that I, this plant went up the one that i wanted to chop i just chopped it and that's basically it. <laughs> and then when I was um, repotting it, because it wasn't a different pot, now it's in a terracotta pot, because I've heard that these do not like to stay moist for um, a long period of time. Like, they hate that. They, they're they supposedly, from what I've heard, I haven't had any problems with this um, tie constellation. Oh, I'll knock on wood right now, but nothing is wood. This, <laughs> I don't want to kill it. But, um, yeah, it's really, really easy to look after. One thing is just, it's very slow, but I've noticed that it has anything. I'm giving it a more i'm giving a grow light and i'm also fertilizing it fertilizing it so that's helped a little bit but it's very pretty it's not that crazy um i guess guys people downstairs and i feel like they hurt me but yes it's like literally insane i'm literally obsessed with it but i'm happy the prices are going down a lot of it has to deal with tissue culture um so that's that but happy that that rooted here are the plants that we bought for clearance and it's honestly some of them were like dying like the new leaves but now they're putting out new leaves um so that's really exciting a lot of the plants i have been shining it's just been really really satisfying and therapeutic especially when my family's over i just like to like well, my brothers for example he came over last time and i was just shining the plants when we were talking it made everything a lot more easier and it passed time a lot faster like we talked a lot and i don't know i don't know how to say it but like talking while doing plant chores is like a really good vibe and then we have this other one with a red conjure philodendron it just put out these two new leaves very excited and then the victoria bird's nest fern has some new leaves but this always like dies on me i don't know why so i think it's because it's never always moist but i'm gonna water it again because i think it's dry so yeah whatever right here we have this massive domino piece of leaf. it has grown a lot and it did have like five or six flowers i already chopped it because they're really poisonous for plants the entire plant is poisonous um poisonous for plants it's poisonous for cats um the entire plant is poisonous but valentino doesn't bite my plants somebody um uh, left a comment saying like how do you have so many toxic plants and you have a cat and it's because like valentino doesn't bite my plants what he does do and i'm surprised he's not doing it right now he always rubs his body on the plants he's just like a scratching thing i don't even know um 
So the reason why I cut off the flowers is because the pollen, it's really bad. And as you can see, if he rubs his body and it's blooming, and the pollen, it makes a mess, falls in his fur and then when he's licking himself, it can get bad. So that's why I chopped the flowers off. I wish I didn't because they're kind of pretty. And they also get variegated, which is pretty as well. But this is a really, really pretty plant. Very easy to look after. I know that Costa Farm is also selling these in the big box stores. So if I do see one, I will get another one. I got this one from plantarena.com four years ago on a four inch pot and she has grown so much. And I think she is due for another potting up because like it's been in that pot for so long. And I feel like the bigger the pot you give it, the wider, the more wider it gets. So really exciting. The orchid is still blooming. It's been already like I think three months already. And this is the second bloom it has given me. You can see the other stock that it gave me of flowers. We have this Marvacan Potos, Hoya, Raven. I actually also clean the Raven a little bit. And then this one, I was very surprised what gave me some new leaves. So this is new. We got it some Tavaria, beautiful Marvacan Potos. I will be doing a complete houseplant tour. I haven't done one for super duper long, but I will do one pretty soon. Um, this one is so gorgeous. It's the same plant. It also has a jade in it, but that's because it reverted. But then again, again, it was green, green, and then look. She was like, I'm gonna get variegated again. So she's just doing her own thingy. And this is just so pretty. I love how like, potos, when you have them hanging, the leaves don't get small, um, compared to like philodendrons and scandapses, when they're not trailing on something, or not going against something, they get smaller and the ratio, I don't know how you call it, but like from leaf to leaf gets wider and wider and wider. I'm a really big fan of that. <laughs> I like my plants are very bushy but to each their own. So potos is a really great plant as a trailing plant without having those big gaps. Um, so there's that. And then this one, I got in clearance a long time ago at Walmart and she's just doing her thing. So I love that, beautiful scandapsis. Over here we have a monjula that I just bought from the greenhouse. And as you can see, it loved the greenhouse. I have another monjula outside and another one and the plant room, which you will see in a bit. Um, I just love monjolas so much. They do take forever, but oh my God, they're just beautiful. Like honestly, very stunning. And then Neon Potos is looking super duper great. As you can see, this is a really great, you know the bunnies, um, angle, but you, they're all facing the light. You can even see how like they're facing Pariam. Um, the thing is, Neon Potos, like honestly, they're great for a little light spots. They won't, you know, go crazy as you give it in a bright and direct spot but they really i noticed that they don't really like a lot of light um they don't need a lot of light to do equally as good as if you give it a lot of light um it's just a really really good so one of those plants that if you have a dark spot that gets artificial lighting or um it's like really far from the window and it's kind of dark but you want a plant and a bright plant something that pops Neon Potos is the plant to go. It's just gorgeous. And as you can see, I shined it. it looks very, very beautiful. Try to scan TI. This one kind of looks like the violin, but I don't even know. There's, I've been seeing a lot of these, like a lot of different, this kind of shape. Hey, Valentina. A lot of this shape, leaf and color, just kind of different. I think it looked all the same to me, to be honest. Trust Extramante is also putting out some leaves as well, which is super duper fun. They look like straws. And then, as you saw, we have the Brazil. Mostada Saltipicana over there. And then my Neon Potos. Here's a Jacena. She got really crazy. The Barragata Chodescantia, one of my favorites. They're popping up everywhere, which makes me super duper happy because if I see another one, I probably won't get it. I usually will, but they propagate so easily. Here's your Jancina. She got a nice clean. And then at the very back, we have this split leaf philodendron. I haven't cleaned the leaves yet because it's very scary. <laughs> There's just so much. But you can see all of these beautiful new leaves coming in. Like, look at that. Oh, plants make me happy when they're doing really good. <laughs> we have some other stuff in there. Like I said, I will do more in depth videos for y'all. And I will go outside later on, but I'm gonna let them like, go a little bit away. But the Mostara Peru, and you guys can see like right there, it's doing super duper duper good. Alrighty. Oh, also my um, Platitanium Mist Peace Lily is putting out flowers. I saw one of them. My mom saw the other one, which is right over here. I am so surprised how like, I never, I never would have thought 
I will see this one flower, but here I am with the flower. I know I should chop it um, if I'm gonna like chop it anyways to like prevent from using a lot more energy, but I kind of want to see the flower so bad. But then I know I shouldn't because you. <laughs> so I might chop it literally today and also the other one. So it's not gonna put all these energies to like do its thing. Maybe this one's a little bit too late, but better late than never. And it's such a beautiful plant. I got it from Green Gate. I think for $21 or $27. Extremely worth it. It's just so gorgeous. Peace of do really, really good on low light conditions. Um, now, when somebody, whenever I say low light conditions, I mean, like, it's not like a plant, for example. I mean, a lot of house plants do really good on low light conditions. <sighs> like this one. Um, I wouldn't put this ficus or any ficus in a low light spot because those do really do need some sort of light to even do anything because how can I say it? Like if you put that in a low light spot where I would put this peace lily, it will just decay like fast. <laughs> I mean, I will start seeing yellow leaves, but peace lily, Santiverias, and potos, they can last longer. And I, I literally have golden potos here that are like, I don't even know, maybe like 50 feet away from the windows. All they're getting is artificial lighting and they're doing perfect. I mean, these are known for us office plants. They're doing really, really good, as you can see. That one's pretty close to the light and the newest leaves I still irrigated, which is very impressive. Um, so, that's that. And since we're here, we do have this pretty ZZ. It was getting burnt on the grow light that it was there, but it's giving me a lot. Look at this. It's crazy. I had it for so long. This is a new leaf. This is a new leaf. This is a new leaf. New leaf, new leaf, new leaf. And I thought I saw more at the bottom, but very impressive. And then over here we have a peacock calathea. Um, very resilient. I mean, it's very drought tolerant considering this is a calathea. So that's really, really fun. Um, ignore the mess. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. But yeah, so that's a little bit of living room, how everything's turning out. We can go to the plant room and I'll show you guys the other stuff. Here are my boyfriend's plants that he propagated at the greenhouse. He really bought all his plants, I think so. You can kind of see how they propagate. It's very impressive and very cool. Look at that. From leaf cuttings, you guys. That is so, that's so cool. His elbows. And then his Godzilla Syngonia. Very, very fun. Look at that, such beautiful, beautiful foliage. Um, not much in here or other than this shelf. I mean, this one's that uh, I can see that it's kind of reaching for light, but it does have lots of new leaves. Um, but that's how I got it from the beginning. So it's not really all that. This one is still doing pretty good. I don't know where to start. Um, this one is giving me a new leaf, but it's taking a little bit. It's time, it's very pretty though. My Scandapsis Silver Hero is starting to put out two, if not three, new growth points. So I'm really excited about that. I bought it as a cutting. And then my Chinese Money Plant, look at that. Still thriving. Um, beautiful Network Calathea. A lot of them, I've been watering them and they're getting dry. Again, they dry out very fast. So look at that new leaf coming in. Beautiful. This one's very has been with me for so long. I bought it as a four-inch pot, and now look at that. Beautiful tricolor syngonia. It's very bright. And it's giving me another leaf. I'm really excited. I almost killed that plant. It would have been very sad. I paid a lot of money for this one. I got it from Wild Roots. It sells very, like, um, uncommon plants, which is pretty cool. And I got this one, I think, for $45 or $35. And then I have another one. Um, that's took cuttings of that. I guess it... I need to see if I have cuttings of that. I thought I did took cuttings. I guess I didn't. I have another one outside of the Mokbega Mosa de Peru that I got from him. I think I paid 45 or 55. I don't even know. It was a, it was a crazy amount, but for a burger Mosa de Peru, that's very, very cheap. <laughs> um, we have this beautiful beauty cam. That's what it's called. I call it Barriga de Marenta, but it's also known as beauty cam. I love when it does that. Well, here we have a, like I said, they propagate so easily, burgeted. Baby bunny bellies, but I gotta try to scan TI. Um, the more you chop it, the more bushier. So I might upgrade it to one of these pots and let it do its thing. A lot of these plants are dry. I swear, water all these plants, literally all of them. And there's also like water them like crazy. Um, 
for like very consistent and now that i haven't watered for like four days everything is looking very dry but you can see all these new leaves on this plant i'm really excited about this one because i got it from corpus and i thought i was going to kill it because i usually kill pepperonias but this one is doing really really good pepperonias are also known as radiator plants um we have this beautiful Milky Way Syngonia. I still haven't done the, the plant labels. I know I should, but it is what it is. Um, beautiful Sensiferia. I love me a good Sensiferia. And it has babies as well, which makes me super, super happy. Here is the Monjula. Look how big she is. And also, of course, this one and this one. And beautiful Golden Potos, more Golden Potos. Why is she in a little like spot, girl? This is my baby. Valentino. It's just minding his own business. Um, what else can I see? This is a neon potos that we propagated from cuttings, and a year later, this is how it looks. <laughs> I need to water that because this one I've I've killed it so many times, and I struggle with it. It does not like to dry out. I think it's called Starlight Syngonium. We have this barricaded range arrangement Pepperonia. Somebody asked me where I got it from. I got it from Etsy. I did an unboxing a while back, but. Very, very gorgeous. I also have a cutting, a cutting of that in the greenhouse, so I need to bring that. <laughs> um, variegated anthurium, gorgeous. Here is the real philodendron. Oh, I think it's called silver stripe. I'm sorry, silver stripe real. They honestly look all the same to me, but very gorgeous. And then we have this guy, which. Oh, it's killed a leaf to put out this leaf. I think it needs nutrients. I don't even know. It's kind of moist, so. Eee, I hear my plants say that. Here's this beautiful Tritoscantia. So pretty. Wow. At the very bottom, we have some other goodies and Arisoniae, Nut Owl, Santaveria, I believe. My variegated Scandapsis. It actually fell. I don't know who dropped it, but. Um, you can see some new growth points coming up and then there's a new leaf coming in. I got this from Etsy and it was the same up, um, unboxing that I did with the burger that range of pepperonia. And I have some cuttings of it in the greenhouse. I have a lot of cuttings that are already rooted. So I'm really so excited about that. I just bit my tongue. It has some other goodies over here. Burger de Morant. Oh, I'm sorry. Lemon lime Maranta. Um, I tried to contain a nuke. Halo skin. Um, my kids. No, and I've been struggling with so much. I'm kind of annoyed of it already, to be honest. Um, that's just pretty. Look at that. I'm always going to be a snake plant person. They're just beautiful and very, very easy to look after, which makes me super duper happy. Look at that. All those new babies coming in. It flowered and now I think it's like in the same family as, um, what do you call it? Uh, bromeliads, because like, look at that. It flowered and now it has babies. That's pretty cool. And we have another Hoya at the very, very bottom. But lots of new growth that's happening right now. And really, really excited. But I'm gonna go show you guys outside. So let's get to it. As you can see, we have the Munchilla right over here. It's doing pretty good. Golden Potos. Bit of aluminium. Here's the Monstera Peru. When I put out this leaf, it killed the other leaf. Um, but this one is still looking pretty strong, so I hope it doesn't die. And it's putting out this new leaf. I've been staring at it, and it's growing pretty fast with the warmth outside. Look at that. When I was buying it, this was a new leaf, and it was green, and I was scared of that. It was probably reverted, but no, look at that. Maranta, this one is, look at that. <laughs> You can see a little bit right there too. And then um, lemon lime flint, I believe. Golden potos, bolts of blue. My, my other American potos. My Hindu rope. Look at that. And then my snow caps. Hoya. But let me show you this one. I have a silver blue right there as well. And they're really not so good looking. Just making a mess. Um, asparagus fine. But look at this. My variegated heart leaf for the dendron. That's such a big leaf. Oh my god. 
And then I just popped a little variegated to baby bunny bellies. Variegated cutting right there. Look at all these new leaves coming in. So exciting. I feel like it's gonna fall. Somebody tell me what kind of um, hooks are you? I'm scared it's gonna fall. I'm gonna put it down. Oh, almost fell. Let's put it right there. No. Let's put it right there. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So. That is basically it for today. I hope you guys cannot hear the background too much, but there's a lot of stuff growing right now and I'm pretty sure a lot of guys' plants are thriving, putting <clears throat> lots of new leaves as well. Uh, I'm just over winter, really excited for spring, but I feel like it's gonna be a crazy spring. The weather's really crazy right now, like it's super windy. Yesterday was extremely hot and humid. Right now it's kind of cold a little bit and very windy, so it's just very chaotic and i'm scared about summer it's gonna be insanely hot i feel like it's gonna be boiling hot so really excited for this weather <laughs> um and yeah i'm just thank you so much for watching and letting me show you everything that's happening right now and all the new leaves that i'm seeing i mean there are some bad things happening too like i do see some really not so good looking plants but when i pull this leaf out beneath that i see any growth points so no matter what, um, they're just, they're, they're gonna bounce back. Plants are very resilient. So again, thank you so much for watching. Sending positive advice to each and every single one of you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>